a lovely time. Oh, good. Well, it's so nice to be here in, uh, uh, you know. And, um... <laughs> and I'm gay. Gay, 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 gay. I don't know if I needed to explain that any further. <laughs> These handkerchiefs don't wear themselves. And... <laughs> And uh, are there any tonight? Are there, I don't like to make assumptions on what people are wearing or who they're sat next to, but are there any tonight? Are there any straight people here tonight? <laughs> any straights? Any straights in? Any straights? Oh my god, oh my god, you're straight. Oh my god, you should meet my straight friend. <laughs> you should go on a date with my straight friend. Oh my god, I love straight people. I think they're so funny. I think that's so funny. I just want to set them all up with each other. And I love, I love to go to straight clubs. Have you ever been to a straight club? Oh, they play the best music in the straight clubs. <laughs> Whenever I'm feeling down, I always go out to see my straight friends, like my straight friend Toby, you know. We just open a bottle of, um, uh, beer. And, uh, we put on our pajamas together, because it doesn't matter, he's not looking at me. And, uh, we put on a movie to cheer ourselves up, like, Die Hard 2. <laughs> oh, it's great. And, uh, and, I mean, in many ways, it is a great time to be gay, you know, particularly in this country, because we've got things like gay marriage, gay marriage, or as I like to call it, garage. <laughs> and garage is designed to bring equality so that gay people can finally be as miserable as straight people. <laughs> And uh, a lot of the time, you know, it's designed to bring equality, but I sort of think, well, I don't know if I want to be equal when I can be better. <laughs> and then I think, no, I do want equality because I want what everybody wants. And I think it doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. Deep down, we all want the same thing, really, don't we? We all want the same thing, deep down. We all want the same thing, which is to have an argument in home base. <laughs> I dream of it. No, Gary, not them tiles. The ones I saw in the brochure, for fuck's sake. <laughs> One day. <laughs> the thing with garage is it doesn't affect me directly because I'm, I'm single. And uh, are there any single people here? <laughs> oh. And uh, I pitched. I don't think I can help you, but um, I don't... <laughs> But I don't mind being single. I think the only times it's difficult being single are when people in couples love to give you advice. Have you found this? Where people love to go, oh, oh, it'll all change when you meet the one. When you meet the one, it'll all be different because the one will love you unconditionally. The one will love you regardless of all your faults and your flaws and your idiotic, stupid, miserable moments. The one will love you unconditionally for who you are. And I think, yeah, but I don't want to be with an idiot. <laughs> That sounded distinctly more tired. <laughs> so as far as I can tell, marriage seems to be basically where you go, I don't have a very good credit rating. <laughs> you have got a job. <laughs> if we can combine, then we can get closer to achieving my dream of owning my own house. So what happens is people have a big party about getting married, don't they? have a big marquee about getting married. And getting married, you're just signing a contract. That's all you're doing in a marriage ceremony. You're just signing a contract. We don't do it for any other kind of contract, do we? You don't have a marquee when you sign a phone contract, do you? Do you? <laughs> and quite frankly, you should do, because some of those two-year deals are much more binding. <laughs> Especially if you're with three. Three of the network, not three people. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> You sign the contract, and then afterwards, married couples, what they seem to do is they go, right, right, just, uh, we're gonna save up now, and we're gonna try and get a deposit on a house. We're gonna try and buy a house. So they do that, they save up, they get the house, and then they just go, right, now what we need to do is just keep paying off the mortgage. Don't worry about anything else, just keep paying off the mortgage. Yeah, I don't really like you anymore. Just keep paying off the mortgage, that's what we need to do. Just keep paying off the mortgage. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a child if you want. If it shuts you up, just don't touch me. Just keep paying off the mortgage. Just keep paying off the mortgage. Yeah, we'll go on all day together, because it's cheaper. Just don't look at me. Just keep paying off the mortgage. Just keep paying off the mortgage. Yeah, I know you had an affair. I turned a blind eye. Just keep paying off the mortgage. Just keep paying off the mortgage. And then, as you get a bit older, it seems to turn into a bit of a game, and basically, whoever outlives the other one wins a house. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me. That's my time. See you again soon. I'm Tom Allen. Good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Hello. Are you all having a lovely time? Yeah. Oh, good. Well, it's so nice to be here in, uh, uh, you know. And, um... <laughs> and I'm gay. Gay, 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 gay. I don't know if I needed to explain that any further. <laughs> These handkerchiefs don't wear themselves.
And, and uh, are there any tonight? Are there, I don't like to make assumptions on what people are wearing or who they're sat next to, but are there any tonight? Are there any straight people here tonight? <laughs> any straights? Any straights in? Any straights? Oh my God, oh my God, you're straight. Oh my God, you should meet my straight friend. <laughs> You should go on a date with my straight friend. Oh my God, I love straight people. I think they're so funny. I think they're so funny. I just want to set them all up with each other. And I love, I love to go to straight clubs. Have you ever been to a straight club? Oh, they play the best music in the straight clubs. <laughs> Whenever I'm feeling down, I always go to see my straight friends, like my straight friend Toby, you know, we just open a bottle of um, uh, beer and... <laughs> Uh, we put on our pajamas together because it doesn't matter. He's not looking at me and uh, <laughs> We put on a movie to cheer ourselves up like Die Hard 2 <laughs> Oh, it's great and uh, and I mean in many ways it is a great time to be gay You know particularly in this country because we've got things like gay marriage gay marriage or as I like to call it garage <laughs> and Garage is designed to bring equality so that gay people can finally be as miserable as straight people. 